Another thought I had, because this this the quality of this box is amazing. This box is going to run me about forty five cents. So which, which is which is perfectly fine. I mean, yeah, forty five cents on a percentage basis of what you're selling it for. Right. It's in, it's insignificant in the scheme. Yeah. Well, what's what's really cool is I'd have like a really nice foam insert, yeah. right? That fits it perfectly. Then I'd have like a little pocket. This is what I'm thinking, where I could put the bag. See, one thing I saw people weren't doing is if I was going on an airplane with this or the see, like if I was going overseas or if I was traveling on business, I would make room to fit this in my bag. It's not out of control large. It's just not optimal if I was going on a vacation, right? Not optimal to bring this. If I was going on a business trip, this like I would bring this because I brought my huge bulky one on wheels and put it in a bag, like used a whole like duffel bag just to put that steamer in, right? Because I needed a steamer. This outdoes that steamer and it's not huge. So <laughs> you guys are having fun, huh? I mean, I, th I think you guys are laughing at me about my steamer. <laughs> Uh, I just want to know when you're going to list it. I want to buy it. That's all. Let's just right. let's just sell right now. Right. Right. Yeah, like what you guys all don't realize is this is the infomercial for my steamer. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, if I wanted your guys, you know, I, I was going to say forty dollars, but if I wanted your fifty bucks, I'd ask for it. And you know, but I, I mean, I was going to say forty. Now it seems like a sin to sell this for forty, but we'll get into pricing. You guys will give me your advice because I'm biased knowing that this is the most amazing steamer I've ever touched. So with that being said, like I want to get at least a thousand of this. Hey, it's Mike here. And we just launched version seven of our Amazon training course, where we walk you through the process of how we sold just in the last 30 days, our first 30 days, over a thousand products with the brand new ranking strategies that we're now showing to the public. We've trained over a thousand students. And last year alone, we did over $3.2 million online. And if you go to my site, put your credit card away, enter just your first name and your email address, I'll immediately send you a series of free training videos that walk you through the process so the price on this and and mike it's funny because we were estimating like about 13 bucks when we were doing like the pricing right this one is 1320 comes with the box i'm not going to use that box i don't like that box and i wouldn't be like if i received the steamer in this box i would think it was junky before i yeah. even opened it I wouldn't give it a chance. If I so, received the steamer. So it's this, an additional 45 cents on top of the 1320 for, for that box? So what they would do is they would remove about 15 cents. So I'd be in the hole maybe 20 more cents. Oh, but uh, like this brand, box, uh, like all three of us could stand on this box and it wouldn't collapse, right? Yeah, like yeah. this box, if I received, and, and I don't like the gloss, so I would do like a mat, right? really nice like steamer max like right across the top i mean mike i like i like the i like the box just for the perceived value aspect of it you know what i mean oh yeah and like the, the way that see like this one is different right because you like it goes like that like over it so it's like it's like when you go like you know when you go to tiffany's you go to tiffany's for the box you don't go to tiffany's for the stupid piece of jewelry you get you go for the little bag in the box like ask any woman right like Hand them anything from Tiffany's, they'll start dancing before, if it was a shoelace inside from Tiffany's, they'll be dancing right when you hand them the bag, right? That says <laughs> Tiffany's in a little right. tiny thing. Like, right, right, that's right. without a doubt. You can right. hand them like a diamond chain in a Walmart bag, and they're going to be like, oh, thanks, right? Like, <laughs> right. It's, it's, it's all about like, that's how life works. It's all about the presentation, man. Always. Oh, and then what would be really cool, just because I see the need, and, and those were, uh they were 20 cents but i would want samples two of that now of the of the actual waterproof bag because one thing that so let me turn it off first right safety first see when you take this it's so easy like see how easy that is like this thing just like pops out some of these are a pain in the neck like on this one you have to like unscrew the top then there's like this little tiny hole and when you pour the water in it's like you gotta like do it like a like a surgeon, right? Like this, you just slide this thing out, you pop this little rubber grommet, run the water right over it. 
bump, done. And then there's like a fill line. I, I put it under the sink, two seconds to fill this. But the problem is, right, when you go to dump it out, there's always a little tiny bit of water. Like, I don't care how long you shake it over the sink. And this is with every steamer. Trust me, I tried it with every one. You can't get every drop of water out. Now, that's going to upset people, right? Because you bring that steamer, you go on vacation, soaks your clothes. And I don't care. Like, I mean, sure, maybe like if I put a paper towel in it or whatever, right? Like I could probably, but most people are not going to do that. If I dump this out, there's always going to be some water left. So my thoughts are like, if I did put this in a bag, I wouldn't travel with the box. So you just like slides in and then it's like locked. Like you can't see the quality, but like it's like rubberized on the bottom. So even when you set it down, it like it just like sticks, right? Like, I mean, you just notice these little details, like compared to like some of these other ones where it's like kind of flimsy. And Mike, and then, those little those little details are extremely important. That takes it from one quality to a next tier of quality, you know? Yeah, and like, and then you look at this, and it's like all the wasted spaces in the head, like, and then yeah. no reservoir. Like, look how skinny that. Yeah, plus it's reservoir. it's gonna sit weird. Like, where are you gonna when it's all wet and steamy? How do you sit? Like, there's no stand or anything. Yeah, and like if you put it down on something, right? Like, it's not good. Like, there's no way to rest it. Like this, yeah. you use it, you set it down, and like like we were talking about last time, collapsible hangers, like all those things, right? Yeah. So my my thoughts are it's like okay i want to get like oh and like there was some other really cool things like with this like there's like a lint brush like one for pet hair right like extra attachments for free that like you know if you have like pet hair and you steam and like or if you get like some lint there's a lint brush one there's like a oh, pet awesome. hair one to use yeah. in addition to it and this actually works i got like a little stain on one of my shirts and instead of like washing it i just put on like the bristle attachment and i like yeah. just like scrubbed it real quick without getting it soaked it worked perfectly right nice. so that'll be my guidebook that i sell my guidebook for how to get stains out with the garment right it's gonna no it's gonna be it's gonna be your ebook that's gonna drive people to your amazing website which is gonna help you build your whole entire you know listings so it's exactly. perfect guess who the brand ambassador is gonna be for this you Hey, <laughs> you, you just got to get that that blue shirt like what's his name used to wear and as seen on TV. And yes, you too. <laughs> oh, like me and the sham wow guy. Like, let's yeah. go. Dude. Right. Like, and and, that's, not, and that's not all. One more thing. And that's not all. We also have, you know, yeah, the, we're, the, we're, we're not selling him. We're not selling him for nineteen ninety nine though. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Oh, I can easily get the sixty nine ninety nine on an infomercial with this thing. Three easy installments of nineteen ninety. Oh, what I would do? Like I already know what I would do. I'd order all the fifty, sixty dollar ones on Amazon, and then be like, oh no, I'd get the hundred dollar ones, right? That sell a hundred grand a month, and be like, would you rather spend a hundred dollars for this? And I'd like break my back trying to carry it, right? Like, oh my back, right? And then, or would you rather have this? Bang, you know, on it goes. So it's yeah. like. That's just the marketing stuff, and we'll get to all that. Like, that's all like the super fun stuff, right? But, like, what we need to start thinking about right now is like, okay. And so, I'm telling you guys, right? The only hang up is, and I want your guys' advice would you guys say run with 2,000 of this, or would you say do the thousand of the collapsible one? And I'd like to hear your thoughts, Sam, right? For the keywords, would you think it would be more wise to put all my eggs? and run with 2000 of these right out of the gate? Or would you say do a thousand of the travel one that has almost the same horsepower? I don't have a sample to show you guys. So I know that makes it a little harder. Uh, honestly, I, you'd be competing against yourself to some degree, right? Cause you're gonna be advertising too and they're in the same space, yes, travel. But we noticed from the uh, top keywords, travel isn't that big of a keyword. So you're gonna be selling with steamers no matter what. So I would personally do one because like you're gonna, duplicate even if you did uh, pay-per-click and combine them you're gonna have two separate facebook ads like it's just it's gonna uh, you know i think you'd start with that and then build a brand and then now once you sell once you sell a thousand of those or 500 of those you'll now have a customer base to sell the travel one too and you already have credibility that's what i would do so yeah. do you like yeah. so on amazon like in you too mike like i'd love to hear what you say because i want to go on yeah. jungle scout too again 
Because yeah, now I, that I know the sizes, I was a little thrown off by the sizes. I got to be honest. Yeah. No, I, I agree with Sam, and I always recommend that as well. I think it's always best, and the way that I've always handled it is that I'll start with one product. I'll focus in on that product. I'll get it to meet my sales goals. I'll get it to a successful point, and then I'll move on to the next variation or the next product itself. That way I'm not like teeter-tottering between two different products and I'm, I'm trying to do too much at once, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think in the very beginning for a new seller, that's extremely important to focus in on one product, get it to whatever sales goals you have for it, and then move on to the next. I, I mean, I think at six weeks you could launch the other one because you're going to, like I said, once you get to 100, 200 units, you'll have a customer base and a like yep. you'll be able to market to directly that love your steamer and now will buy your travel steamer. So that's what I would do. I, I mean, I, I, that's my opinion. No, and I'm with you guys. Like, in, and you got to remember too, like the average student, like, you know, like maybe you don't want to spend, you know, 40 grand in steamers, like, you know, 40 grand in your first product to tie up. Right. Like we're kind of going all in because like I'm going for a hard product. Like this wouldn't be super wise for like the average person to like, start with like just because of the price point right but see yeah. like this is what like, what got me because i'm looking at some of these right and when you look at like closed steamer like we'll go on the jungle scout again right like just to show everybody kind of where we kind of like got going with this idea right because the revenues the things like that and what people are like some of these closed steamers like they're charging an arm and a leg and I can promise you they cannot compete with this steamer. So like on the low end, like if, even if you just go by revenue, right? Like look at all these people that are just like crushing it with their revenue, right? And like, let's go by price first, just cause I, I just want to kind of show you guys this. Like, let's start with the high ones, right? Like these big bulky ones, like even if you click on it, right? Like I just want to see what their wattage is right now. Like I have not done this. Cause 1500 watts I've realized is like ultra ultra powerful so i don't even know if some of these even make it to 1500 watts and i hate when they don't say the wattage like now i'm like mad when they don't show the wattage because i'm like who everybody needs to know the wattage like why would you not tell what the wattage is well it's probably because their wattage is low and they're trying to hide it i know that's exactly right because yeah. like some of the big sellers I saw, I'm like, how are they crushing it with 700 watts? Like, I am so confused right now how you're selling that many with that kind of wattage. Like, it just, it blows my mind. Like, some of these, like, like I got to see what some of these, because I know this is a low wattage one. Like, I know for a fact, because I've ordered so many samples of, like, every kind. Oh, they don't even want to, oh, 700 watts. See, look at that. This is 700, this, this little wimpy thing is 800, right? Like that is 700 watts. Like you that's can't not, even get me out of bed now for that's 700. Not, that's not gonna do anything. Is, it's, I mean, and trust me, it's gonna gurgle, it's gonna fight, but look what they're doing. Like, that's what's amazing. Like, how are they doing 587,000 a month with that, right? Like, it's just, it's really, I mean, they, really surprising. Their, their price point isn't that low either, I mean. It's not no, like it's thirty-one dollars for that. Like, right. I can get those for four or five bucks, right? Yeah. And but the way I see it, it's like if you want to build something, like I know my customer satisfaction rate has to be high on this, and I could charge more for that. Like I know that for a fact. But I mean, obviously, we're gonna guess and test the price point because that's what we do on every product. But yep. steamer for clothes. Let's try something else. Like just try different keywords that we already know. Yeah, that, so, that was like that was the number one keyword, steamer for close. And and this, like I hate clicking on anyone sponsored ad, but like that's the one I want you guys to see because this little junk right here, I got one of these and oh my gosh, like I gotta do it. Like I'll send them the two bucks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just gotta click on it. And they're selling out for 40 bucks. And wow. these little things do nothing. Like I'm telling you, like they do nothing. Like it will not get wrinkles out. But somehow, 900 watts. Okay, I'm a little impressed that it's at least 900. It's not 15, right? But that little tiny thing is going to be like this, right? And 
it's amazing. They like that's why they only have four stars. Like, let's see what they're complaining about, right? Let's go to their one stars. So, like, all we want. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I only want to see the one stars right now. I never given a bad review. This is my first. Might serve better as a kettle than a steamer. Exactly. Like this is a kettle. I even said that I can make tea with this thing, right? Like that's about it. I bought this for travel, but it's insanely big and heavy. See, like that's the thing. Like they all look so small in there, but if they're disappointed in the size, when they try it, they'll be like, okay, I'm glad I got that one because the size is big on these things. Like let's see. That yeah, but he, he marketed this as mini. So he deserved that comment. See, is if you look yeah, at his title, it says small. mini. Yeah, like yeah, this, this one looks like it would be tiny. Like if you only saw a picture, right? Like forget perspective. Like that would look like a tiny yeah. steam, right? Yeah. But this thing is just as big. Like it's just as big. Like barely different, right? Like, and the benefit of the bigger reservoir and the dual heads outweighs like that extra inch, right? And and again, make sure you're selling a high quality product because you can't get away with not doing so. Someone will leave you a video showing that your product does not work, and then you're you're done. Yeah, and like I would challenge someone to make a video yeah. saying that this doesn't heat up fast or that it doesn't get steam like wrinkles out. Like this thing is a beast. Like you can't say How, that. Like how's the reservoir? This person has problem opening the reservoir because of their arthritis. One of these people. Yes, because that's the problem with some of these. You have to twist off the top. All right. Yep. And then it's like. The reservoir on all these, like, see the, like, I've noticed that as a big problem too, because like, see this one here, it's got like this tab, but it's not easy to get off. You got to like really work it off. Right. And then it's like this little tiny reservoir. That's crazy. That's like so weird. Is it easy? And to then, pick the reservoir on the big one like, is easy, right? This we like, it's just two buttons. You press it. Like, oh, yeah, that's, that's it's perfect. effortless. It's like right? butter. Oh yeah, and it's smooth and it clicks. Oh, like you feel the quality, right? No wiggle room. Like you just go right away. I, I, I think we should buy it. Let's just do it. Hey, hey Mike, what Mike, what would have happened if you would have just gotten this little one and not even gotten this big sample and pulled the trigger on this little one? It would have been a waste of time, money, energy, everything. So important to get multiple samples. It's ridiculous. That's right, because without perspective, you might think this right. was decent. Exactly. Right. But anyone that's ever, like, if I knew nothing about steamers, as soon as I saw this little head, that wouldn't have bothered me. I wouldn't have known nothing. But as soon as I went to use it and it didn't get my wrinkles out, I would instantly know that it sucked. Then you see this with the big old surface area. Like, look at those two different sizes of surface area, right? And the two rows as opposed to one. And then, like, see how they're indented? Like, because even if you had, like, water buildup, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a raindrop. It would come down instead of sputtering on your clothes where this is just holes like it'll just sputter it'll drip like this at least has that little bit of forgiveness you know like in here so if you knew nothing about steamers and you pulled the trigger on this thinking i'm going to get one sample then you use it and you're like ah it works right yeah. but you're not looking at the negative reviews what are people upset about so hey like, check out that Check out that review where it says, it, oh, this is an interesting, see, this is why you learn so much from reviews. This is a good exercise. See how it only works on 110 volt outlets, that one? He went to Europe. So we should find that out. I don't know, you might already, you, you're like, I don't even want to ask, you know. <laughs> I already know the answer. It's 220 and it's 110. And oh, I got the American awesome. plug, but you could use this. So this, this is actually built for 220. So my concern was, when I bought this, that it wouldn't heat up fast with a 110. That was my concern. But the motor, this is built to be a 220. I thought, well, yeah, it's heating up fast because it's a 220, but I plugged it in and did it in front of you guys. It, it might heat up faster with a 220, but it's interchangeable with a little bit of like just one plug, right? I mean, there's two, there's two complaints about that. So that right there is your differentiating, great for, great for foreign travel or something like that like it will yeah. work like that's going to be a bullet you know in your listing because i mean that's, that's just yeah. one. right any anything that we can highlight over our competitors believe me will be in the listing wow yeah, that's you awesome. can kind of tell this one right like 
this is not like see so like you could call this mini based on the fact the other one is a huge tank this big right like you could call this mini but i would also make pictures where it's in perspective so they know the size of it right and show it like doing a shirt instead of like what these guys do they they just show the picture independently so you can't actually tell like let's see if this one shows oh yeah see like you could just tell it has five little holes see like not good this has one two three four five six seven times two 14 holes five easy decision done and the see like the way that they show it right like that is all fine right but this is not small in any way because okay that's a good way to put it so that's seven and a half inches tall i always have my trusty tape measure handy usually <laughs> oh a bottle of peria that's so interesting look at that yeah so that's, actually, that's actually not allowed either by the way no it's not allowed what's that they you put a bottle of Perrier. You can't have another branded product in one of your images. <laughs> oh, they tried to blur it out, though. You see that? Yeah, poorly. Very but poorly. Everybody knows what that is. That's Very funny. poorly. So, like, the width, there says three and a half, right? Mine's four. There says seven and a half tall. Mine's exactly ten and a half tall. So, for the difference in horsepower, like, not even a question. And then let's see, like, expensive ones right so like let's sort it like that right because let's see what people are getting away with let's do clothes steamer like let's see some of these uh yeah now we're now we're getting <laughs> look at that steamer for clothes okay so if we let's do the jungle scout on it and then we'll sort by highest just to get some because these like i don't see anybody like me i would never use that big tank one again like there's such a pain in the neck because like that hose is the pain in the neck because the hose only reaches to where your clothes are so me i'll hang like four or five things on hangers and then i'll just go one after another and it's so smooth so i would never use one of these again like one of the ones that have like a tank so let's just go the highest and it's amazing like look at those prices still like so let's go to like the most expensive handheld one okay you're not traveling anywhere with that thing <laughs> oh my god 70 bucks oh and i can already see the problem right see that just has a straight line oh, that's it's, gonna water. it's con air though so you get a brand name Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't even, all I saw was this line going across and like, yeah. that's not a good steamer, I promise. It, you. it angered you. Well, look at look at the reviews, what are they at? Like 3.8 or something? It's not a good steamer. Oh yeah, I, I wanna see the wattage. Ooh, okay, I'm a little impressed, 1550, okay. Wow. I oh, take really? back anything bad, but 1550, that's amazing. That's pumping out some serious steam, yeah. But no reservoir, right? But See, I wish they said the height. Like, do they say, oh, 40 second heat up time. See, not that good. Well, the dimensions will be down lower. Yeah, let's see. Let's see their height here. Oh, my gosh. Heavy as heck, though. 3.15 oh, pounds. Crap. Wow. Oh, and it's like so much bigger than mine, right? So theirs is 13 inches high. Mine's 10 and a half. And then 8.6. See, mine's only five wide. And then the depth, right? So, like, let's do the I width. Mean, there's some packaging there, but so still, it's still pretty big. Yeah, yeah. Even if you take the box that this one comes in, right? Like this, this would be a good um, relative product to look at their their negative reviews too. Yeah. So my box and everything is eleven and a quarter, and then six and a quarter, so substantially smaller, and then four and a half, so substantially smaller. Yeah. And so let's see what people complain about this because this certainly is not a travel one. Do they look how horrible their product for Conair? Their description is two lines. That's hilarious. And look, two pictures. Yeah. Like, can you believe that? I mean, but what's their sales? I mean, it's probably stupid, right? Oh my God! Yeah, the sales were amazing. They some, were some of these. 
some of these bigger brands that you know they don't they're not all in on amazon you know they sell yeah. in retail stores and all that and they're just they've got like a couple people that throw up some listings you know yeah I mean? yeah, that's it. yeah it's fba yeah, so like, let's too. just scale that because it's con air right so let's not even think about that let's look at some of these that's where i went 1100 watt you're getting close but it looks cheap to me that's where i went to though that's another huge name steamer for clothes i never heard of this i don't know if you guys have uh this is on no no that little handheld one that we were looking at was a bazon or just a minute ago okay that's con air so let's not count that one. Oh, see like so that one's 1200 watt and that's so that's more like my actual travel one. They're doing 97,000 a month and they only have not 390 reviews. That's good. Then like shine high. See like that is like this. If I got this in the mail, like I'm so glad I got the sample of this because it didn't look that bad in the pictures. Like right. automatically, exactly. like I would just consider this junk, like immediately. So, and like, but look at the, see the sales are like really intriguing, like how much they're actually doing. Like this is not a bad, like that's not a bad example, $36 and they're doing 30,000, right? And I never heard of that brand. I don't know if you guys have AI Co. No, no, I haven't. No. So a thousand watt and see like, like I know all the stats now, right? So one of the things I loved about this steamer is I love the big ML tank, right? It held a lot. And I love that the tank could go for 25 to 30 minutes of steam time. So, and it, what, like one of the stats, like, and you can't really find them anywhere, is that this pumps out 25 to 30 milliliters a minute of water. So, like, if they showed all these stats on everyone, it would be so easy to uh, compare them. But, like one row again and i don't know but but they're doing amazing they're selling really well and it doesn't look like they have any negative reviews yet uh they may have just started selling <clears throat> well you could tell because look at the date of their earliest like yeah their some, sometimes you can see when they started if you scroll up a little bit under the yeah bottom. yeah it should uh, see, uh, like, yeah, right in here. Sometimes it'll say when they started selling. I don't see it in here, though. Yeah, you could look at sc sc uh, scroll up. Uh, you don't have the uh, the helium add in, so we have to. Uh, I can look at this for you. Ah, oh, see, look at this, though. See, only 13 to 17 milliliters a minute. Mine's 25 to 30. Like, yep. that, I mean, but you wouldn't know what that means, but you know that you're selling a good steamer at that point, right? And Mike, once we get this product in the brand registry, we'll be able to put unique pictures and um, unique descriptions within that product description section. So we'll be able to really tell the story about it right there. Yeah, and that like kind of pumps me up that they're, see they're selling this for $36 and I know I'm pumping out twice as much steam as them. And the two rows, like see the, the if you emphasize that to people, like then they'll see the value, right? It's like, hey, like look at most steamer heads. Look at the size of my steamer head. And look, my even if I had one row, I have seven holes on my one row, they have six, right? So yeah, you don't I have to like, I mean, all I'm worried about is that I just want to make sure I get good reviews, right? So when I'm looking at saving a couple bucks on the product, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not looking at, you know, if I could save three bucks, but eliminate some of my favorite things about this, doesn't make sense. Cause I'd rather make a little less profit, but like build an eight figure yeah. brand off this thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, go, it's all about the quality, man. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking to sell 2000 of them being done with it, then get the cheap one and make your money and get out. But that's right. not your plan. So. No. And that's a really good point, right? Cause if I just wanted to like hit and run and then disappear, <laughs> Like, sure, look, average monthly sales, 3,000. I mean, I could be in and out of this product before I get flooded with any bad reviews. Yep. And, but that's not fun. Like, that, there's nothing exciting about that. 
And some of these that are like really high priced are like they're selling them for a really high price, but they're not even that good. See, this is a good example. Look, 587 buys on. Like, let's look at their negative reviews. Like, not that we want to beat this to death, guys, but this is like what you guys need to look at. So 900 watts. So I know I, I crush it based on steaming. I know that. So let's see what they complain about, right? No spinning water at all. Quick and powerful. Heats up in 25 seconds. Mine's even faster. Compact and handy as the tiniest of all handheld steamers. You can even steam horizontal. I notice that too. I can go sideways. I can go upside down. And it does it because the way that the reservoir works is it's got like a, a flimsy thing in there that is gravity. So when I, when I turn it like this, that thing goes down. Right, so wow. that was one of the features that I noticed that I like. There's about. no, there's no leaking when you do that, Mike. None at all. Yeah, see, like, oh, that's and awesome. Even yeah. right now, like, see, the water's upside down, but there's no leakage. There's Good. nothing coming out of here, and even if you shake it, like nothing. Right, so even if I had a little bit of water in here, I wouldn't do it. I'd want the bag, but you notice, like, nobody's giving a bag with it. Yeah. No, I mean. From the steamers we've looked at so far, comparing it to that one, I mean, that one looks like it's made much, much better. Yeah, like this is pretty good. And like they're selling the heck out of this thing. So I just want to see what their negatives are real quick. And yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen a travel bag with any one of these yet. Yeah, so it's just, oh, like we looked at this one. Hang on, let's look at another $40-ish one. Because you guys will help me with the price, but I'm thinking like, I might be able to go 50 bucks just because of like how good it is. I mean, I don't know if that's going to hurt my sales or if I'm being overconfident, but you know, I want you guys to help me like decide what I should be selling this thing for. Well, I mean, I always think about it. Like you can start high and come down rather than start low and go high, you know? Yeah. But you'll get ranked better if you start like, it's a, it's a, it's a happy medium. Right. So if you start, right. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, you know what I mean? So, but when you get to the first page, you can raise the price yeah but i mean it, yeah. it, you don't you don't want to start at 80 dollars. i mean you know no. it's got to be it's got to be competitive to where the average price is that we figured out you know yep. well and one of the things that i did with the supplements is i raised i made the price so high and it sold amazing doesn't mean it's going to work for every product but i'm more like and with no reviews like maybe to start like your first glance like what would you think sam price are you in the 40-ish range or mid 40s or high 40s yeah, I mean, uh, based on what I saw on that page, I'm like forty two ninety nine or something like that, just for like the first ten days, right? Get to the first page, and then you're gonna ramp it up to forty nine ninety nine or more, and depending on what the market's gonna dictate. But but the first ten days is gonna be absolutely critical because you get to the first page for five, six, eight keywords, and then you're gonna start rising because that'll get you there fast, and then you start going up. And you won't have to do a lot more, you know, because then the cost of giveaway, not giveaways, but lower cost, uh, um, you know, Facebook ads and uh, pay-per-click, you know, it'll get there more naturally and on a full price. So, but that's... Okay, yeah. So, like, so let's go through that now, right? Because, like, uh, so what we're... Like, so we know that I want a good box. So let me yep. show you guys. And just real quick, because the logo... Right. I want your guys opinion. Like this is <laughs> let's do something fun right now, because all you yeah. like everybody has a different opinion, as we all know. Right. Like everybody. But I, I, we're going to do a big vote right here because uh, I want to see if me and Sam are right. Well, no one's ever right. But are me and Sam right or are Chris and Mike right? So it's going to be up to you guys to tell oh, us God. what you like better. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Uh, uh, I didn't I don't even have Chris here to root, root me on, man. Where's Chris at? Is he there? You're already. Uh, you're no, already. Chris. Oh, are you kidding me? You know these designers. They don't work late like us. <laughs> and and he, he was a little, like he said, you know what? For, for you buying that on Fiverr, like you did pretty good. Like in terms of, you know, like that's not a bad start. And I said, oh, not a bad start. Like I'm ready to pick one of these right now. Are you kidding me? Wow. And he's like. Oh, I could tweak this, tweak that. I'm like, yeah, but I pay you too much. Like, I want you building right. websites. Chris, not Chris, Chris, Chris is a master designer, though. He doesn't mess around with, you know, little logos and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like if I could have him building websites and this stuff, like, makes way more sense for me. So, uh, 
like, okay, so I'm going to go to Gmail. I'm going to go on the Google Drive. Hey, it's Mike here, and we just launched version 7 of our Amazon training course where we walk you through the process of how we sold just in the last 30 days, our first 30 days, over a thousand products with the brand new ranking strategies that we're now showing to the public. We've trained over a thousand students, and last year alone we did over $3.2 million online. And if you go to my site, put your credit card away, enter just your first name and your email address, I'll immediately send you a series of free training videos that walk you through the process okay and you guys are gonna tell me this is huge because and, and everybody just say we'll call them one or two okay just to make it easy you just say which one is better in your opinion number one or number two so let's go into steamer max it's like you're at, like you're at the uh, eye doctor number one or number two Right. Yeah, yeah, which I just did. Which wasn't that fun. <laughs> it's not. It's not fun going to the eye doctor. Actually, I was like, just give me my prescription. You know, like right. Especially the older way you, too many you know, questions here. Especially the older you get, every time you go, your prescriptions worse and uh, worse and worse. <laughs> says you, young guys. <laughs> okay, so number one. Okay, look at the characters, look at all the, just, this is what we narrowed it down to. Number one. No, that's not right, Mike. That ain't right. <laughs> no cheating. Or these characters, right? So maybe you guys need to see them side by side. Maybe that could help. Yeah, yeah, side by side would be perfect. Yeah. Okay, let me try. You guys stew on that, not that I'm trying to brainwash you, but stew on that for a second. <laughs> Oh, so you left that one on there. <laughs> I see how it. I see how it is. That's cool. And there's a big prize. It's a gentleman's bet between me and Sam and Mike and Chris right here. Oh. And and we had a tiebreaker, but we were like, ah, oh, let's ask the audience. You know, we we're gonna ask someone else, and we we're like, nah, we we yeah. just want you guys to to decide because that makes more, it more fun. more fun this way. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Uh, so let me turn to it first. Okay. Ah. Oh, almost had it. Yep. I got to shrink these down a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's too high. I got to lower it. Okay. Got Guys, I mean, honestly, both of these logos are are pretty good, and we, you know, th these were done on Fiverr, you know, so it's a great resource for logo design. So now, guys, very important. Number one is on the bottom. Number two is on the top. So this is very critical, guys. We need to know number one on the bottom, number Come two on. on the top. Let's go two. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Well, I'm seeing oh. I'm I'm seeing twos, a lot of twos. That's mine and Sam's. Yeah, twos on the top, he said. <laughs> twos on the top, Mike. Oh. No cheating. Oh, we're crushing you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, Sam. Look at That's that. Uh oh, I oh, find. Come on. Two, two. Keep it up, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, two, two all day. All day. Wait, 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 I'm seeing one. I'm seeing one. Hold on. I'm seeing ones coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Number That's two just, on those top, are, those number are one pity. on the bottom. Those number are pity votes. On top, number one on the bottom. Uh, that's fine. They both uh -oh. look good. It's all good. A couple ones are coming in though. I know. I told you they're coming. See? You can't. You can't vote twice for the one record. One is one is a lot cleaner. See, clean, crisp, and clean. And oh, clean. that that was one person, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's like reviews. One, right. Two, three, four. Oh, there's Actually. another one. I got wait. I got three. Ones oh, listen, you're right you're there. begging for votes now. That ain't right. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. No pandering. Number number two is on top. Remember, guys. Ah, uh, right. thank you, Lynn. I knew I liked you. Wait a second. Let, let's <laughs> count these ones. I think I'm in the lead. Actually, let's count these up. One. Ah, oh, Sydney. Ah, oh, we're beating you by one. Oh, 
beating my wife. Voting is closed. Voting is closed officially. Oh. Oh, and, and I'm more excited to rub it in Chris's face, Mike, not yours. All right. All right. I love to prove to my designer that he knows nothing about conversion. Chris is just going to want to make this better, though. You know, you know, he's going to want to do that. Oh, yeah. He's going to be like, oh, well, yeah, I, I didn't pick because that's what pissed Chris off. He didn't like that I picked this font because he made the bottom one first. And I'm like, that looks OK, but why don't you use this font? And he's like, oh, you're a designer now. I'm like, just use this font. It looks right. better. So that was amazing, guys. All right. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks. So, like, so with that being said, right, so the top logo will go across right here, right? And then yep. on the box, right, like, it's going to be this style box, like, and, you know, like, you guys know, like, I'm always big on, like, boxes and things like that, right? So I always get, like, samples of boxes. I know that's weird, but I get lots of samples of boxes and, like, nice foam inserts. It's like, I always want the super high quality box and you know there's a bunch of like I have so many products here right now but like I'm always wanting to spend a little bit more money and you know you guys tell me if you think that's right if, if I were to even say spend 50 cents more on the box right like you think that would be wise even though it cuts into my margins yeah I think you'll get it back in a heartbeat I do too I think with the perceived value it's it's truly important and you're going to get it back yeah, Absolutely. and it's it's not even a, yeah, it's not about the cost. It's about the uh, the number of negative reviews you'll avoid, right? I mean, because that's the perceived value, and you know, yeah. one negative review, two negative reviews is going to drop your sales. And what's the value of that? And the cost of that yeah. is more than fifty percent. Well, and I'll even tell you, I opened this box last because it was so junky, <laughs> right? So yeah. I get all my samples. I'm tearing open the other boxes first. Steamer didn't even compare. Like and somebody, like, you can just hear it, like. You know, and, and, and Sam, that's a good point. You could get a negative review because your package is horrible. It, it wouldn't have anything to do with the product. Or comes in crushed yeah. or like right. like that. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, like, like look at all these dents. Like, I didn't do yeah. this to it, right? Like, it's all dented and it's like, mean, it's like mangled and like, it's so cheap, right? Like, this is just like, it's like nothing, right? When, when you look at this box, like all three of us could stand on this box, right? Like, you know, this thing is like, it's so sturdy and, you know, just the thickness, it's gotta be, I would say about four or five times thicker. And then like the foam inserts, right? Would like, it would just be like such a nice presentation for this steamer. And it, then it, it's not with like a darker color. Right, right. And, and back to the packaging for, you know, for anybody that thinks it's hard to find custom packaging, it's not. Your manufacturer that creates your product will either be able to do it in house or they'll have a relationship with a a custom product manufacturer. And, you know, the team in China can help with that as well. They do a great job with helping with that. And, and that's exactly what I did because, you know, yeah. they, they, so all the steamers came with a free box, right? And they give you the template, you send it to somebody on Fiverr, they design it, they make it real cool within the template, whatever, right? I, what I wanted, and I do this all the time, is I would rather get a separate box manufacturer. Now, this company might be able to provide me a really good box, right? But then I'm kind of gam not gambling me, I'm just wasting time, where I love boxes that are really good, high quality. So I always have like a standard of boxes. So I just pulled out this box. I'm like, oh, this steamer goes in this box, right? Just, it has to be durable, it has to be high quality, has to be something that when someone's done with it, they can put it back in the box. I know a lot of people like to do that. I actually, like I keep my boxes of stuff that I don't use often because I like to store it in the box. Like I like cords tucked in, like I don't like mess, right? Even though if you looked on my floor, there's steamers and boxes everywhere, that's not normal. What I really like is everything to be neat and tidy and, and knowing that like just that box alone it's gonna last as long as the steamer, like for sure. And then like a really cool insert. So, you know, depending on the cost of the bag, cause the bag I would rather have no matter what, like, but I can't get that first impression, that wow factor if I don't have a really cool box. Then the bag is just like a little like 
it'll like fold down real small. It'll go like in a piece in that box. Then I'll have my attachment for like the, the brush I showed you guys, right? I'll have the brush attachment. I'll have the, the lint attachment, right? Like the, like the bristles. Then I'll like, I'll have all those nice and neat in the box with the bag. Then the bag will be waterproof. So it'll be some kind of canvas, like really soft cotton, but it'll be waterproof either way. And so like my move right now, and cause like you can see some on Amazon too. Like, let me show you guys. Mike, we should put the logo on the bag too. Definitely like really big, right? Yep. Cause then it's like, you know, steamer max. And it's like, that'll be like the nice color version. Cause I, yep. I want to hear what you guys think. Like I always hear what the designer thinks. He always likes real crisp and clean, but would you put that logo in color or would you do it like, uh, like, would you do like a laser engraved? Would you do like a heat transfer? Would you like have it almost like a sticker? Like what kind of logo would you, cause I know what I think, but I want to hear what you guys think. Like, how would you on this, like both of you, like what logo, how, like, would you want it etched? Would you want it like just the heat transfer color, black and white, just white with the gray? I really felt like since I've joined, this is probably this is one of the best decisions I've made in my life. From August 2nd to September 2nd, I generated uh, 15,000 in sales. I did about 6K one day. We set a goal of 300 sales in the first two weeks and we met that in eight days. Our first 12, 13 days, we've average just over a thousand dollars per day in revenue right now i've got 75 74 five star reviews bestseller ranks at 29 and i've sold in 45 days almost 500 units we are moving about 15 to 20 um, units per day right now we were number one new release on amazon within 24 hours so the last 12 months would have been in july i reached um I guess six figures. I've seen the result and I've been very impressed. Today actually is ironic that we're making this video because we hit our biggest numbers sales organically. We still made 150% on our investment. By far the level of accountability you guys bring and support to your uh, team is it's uncanny. What you guys are teaching us it changed my life. Just mind blowing and very helpful in helping us launch our products. We were able to create an entire business from scratch with no knowledge before um, really of how to sell on Amazon. It gave us basically a roadmap to get involved in e-commerce without having to reinvent a wheel. If I didn't uh, have this training to follow, I'm sure it would be very difficult for me to research everything and to come up with a process that would work. The way Mike and Matt teach is really a foolproof method. The quality and integrity of the program is amazing. Um, the clarity of instruction um, and the detail of instruction is really easy to follow along. I've been amazed with how robust and how much information they have in their program. I get so much information from the training videos and it's, it's incredible. I love the modules that I can listen to them again and again. The steps that are, are laid out are very much succinct and something that, that you can follow. It really is good to just consistently go over and over and over the same uh, you know, the basics in order to get your business up and running. Everything that you've taught me so far has been useful. Uh, I've used a number of it, both in the, the side business and also at my day job. You guys have been helping me out with the, the Voxer talks, uh, the live training videos that you guys have been sending me. Learning that this even exists, learning the process of how to be successful uh, has really been great. I like how the information can be applied to other businesses, other online ventures that you might want to do. We love this business for the business model. I'm just so excited to be selling online and making money in a way that I never thought I would. I'm just excited to get this started. If you want free time and you know how this uh, passive income system can work, I think you'll see the same thing. Ultimately, pour into the things that I love. And for me personally, that's my family. I'm just grateful for you guys. I feel like you're super positive. One of the things that you guys do is set the tone for giving everything you've got. You go above and beyond. They aim to over deliver. They don't need to do as much as they do, but they do it anyway. Mike and Matt are just regular people. Successful, but willing to share the knowledge and help us become successful too.